listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, 2024. Today is also a very great feast day. Today is the feast of the Queenship of Mary. Last week, we celebrated a holy day of obligation, the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. We believe that after her earthly life was over, Mary was assumed body and soul into Heaven. We also believe that in heaven, with both her body and her soul, God honored her, honored her for her obedience, her faithfulness, honored her as the mother of his son, Jesus Christ, and he crowned her as queen of heaven and earth. We know that Mary continues to guide the church and to not only care for, you know, the church and all people, but to care for us specifically. In fact, Mary continues to appear to people in apparitions, like public apparitions, but also in private little gentle reminders of her love and her guidance. Many great saints have told us that the shortest, the truest path to Jesus is is through Mary, to Jesus, through Mary, that her one desire is to love us as only a mother can, to give us what is best for us. And of course, what is best for us is Jesus, her son. And so join me in our August prayer today, the Memorare. And as you pray these words to the Blessed Virgin Mary, really believe that she has been given great power, great honor in heaven. And that when we pray to her, we're praying to her as our good mother who hears our prayers and is, just desires to help us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. So this week we are continuing on with our ABCs of the Catholic faith. We are on the letter C for cross, and we don't, we don't pretend to understand the mind of God, but we know for sure that God did choose to die on a cross to save us from our sins. So because of this, what does the cross tell us about God? Well, it tells us that God has a tremendous love for us, a love so great that he was willing to suffer and die for us on the cross. It also tells us that God was obedient and that God calls all of his followers to be obedient to Today, we are going to move on to the third thing that we learn from the cross. And we see through the cross that through this willing sacrifice, Jesus Christ was able to deliver us from sin and win tremendous grace for us. So as we talked about earlier in this week, when Jesus spoke about sin, very often he he described it as a debt. In one of his parables, he describes a king with a servant who owes him just an unbelievable amount of money, more than he could ever pay back. And this king just cancels the debt because he has the power to do that. So God could have just canceled this debt, but he knew that if he came to earth as a human being, suffered and died for our sins on the cross, not only would our debt be paid through what Jesus did on the cross, but graces would be won for us and we would have this tremendous example of what love truly is. 
Now, to understand Jesus Christ as the willing sacrifice, we need to go back to the story of St. John the Baptist. When he first points to Jesus, he has some followers with him who eventually become followers of Jesus Christ. But he points to Jesus and he says, there is the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Now, that's really interesting. He could have said, there's the Messiah. That might have been a little bit easier for us to understand. But he says, the Lamb of God. Now, listen, we also say those words. We sing them usually when we are at Holy Mass, right? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. So Jesus Christ becomes the willing sacrifice. There are so many things that we could say here that are above my theological ability to explain, and also we won't have time. But in the Old Testament, we oftentimes, we see all the time, we see priests, high priests going to the temple to offer sacrifice. That even happens during the presentation after Jesus is born. But they know we, they had to keep going back to the temple to offer more lambs, more turtle doves. They, but here with Jesus, he is the Lamb of God. He is God. He is infinite. He is enough to cover all the sins that had been committed to that point, all sins that would ever be committed. He is the ultimate sacrifice. And remember, when Jesus fed the 5,000, he not only created enough bread to feed them, but an overabundance, right? Full baskets of food afterwards. That is also what Jesus did on the cross. He didn't just pay the right amount so that we didn't have to deal with the consequence of sin. There is an overabundance of grace, one through the willing sacrifice of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ on the cross. Now we can come to God, humble ourselves, and receive those graces that He won for us that still flow from the cross that we have access to in the Holy Eucharist through the church. Now this is a big, 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 big topic that we are not doing justice to, but we need to remember that Jesus Christ is the perfect sacrifice, that He is the willing sacrifice because of what he did on the cross. We not only are delivered from sin, but we have access to tremendous grace. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Hey there, Sprouts. We are looking forward to a terrific event inside of the clubhouse this coming Saturday, August 24th. We will be welcoming the Sisters of Mercy from Elma, Michigan. They will be there to talk about their own vocational call and answer all of your questions about the religious life. So if you are a clubhouse member, make sure to log into the clubhouse to get the link to join us Saturday morning. If you are not a member of the clubhouse, well, think of this as your invitation to join us. It is a great time to join us just in time to meet the Sisters of Mercy from Elma, Michigan. They are so excited to meet you and to answer all of your questions. I will see you there. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.